but today we are truly in difficult times. The Baltimore County Council voted unanimously in favor of making the biggest budget cuts in county history, some $58 million. No agency is spared, and that includes education. The council chopped $20.2 million in education funding, but that's money above the minimum of what the state law mandates. I think the council was very clear that we have concerns about some of the spending in administration, and my hope would be that as the school board looks at this reduction, it does its best to minimize disruptions to classroom instruction and truly seek efficiencies in administration. The council cut cost of living increases for union employees, including trash haulers. They're instituting a hiring freeze. There are budget cuts in nine departments, including police. They are slashing contributions to retiree health benefits. The county council does not take this reduction lightly, and we are committed to increasing funding in the future. They cut $3.5 million out of the capital budget. Tourism grants are being slashed by $400,000. In the end, we settled on something that we all could live with. It wasn't that we all wanted all of these items, but it was something we all could live with. The council postponed Friday's vote for a week to see if Congress would act on a stimulus aid package for states and local governments. Three or six months from now, uh, sadly, we'll probably be forced with layoffs and uh, furloughs and possible job eliminations. So in no way do we as a council or as a government think that we're out of the woods here. Council members say the next round of budget decisions will come in November when income tax projections come out. Reporting from Towson, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.